Around 2007, there was a buzz and talk about the reconstruction and redevelopment of Sangley Point, a massive plot of land and water body that sat around Cavite City. The development plans were drawn from both international and local views. The area had once been used by the United States military, and at that time was also being used by the Philippine Navy and Philippine Air Force. Such a crucial location therefore was a strategic body of land. Yet come July of 2007, previous President Gloria Arroyo would issue an Executive Order No. 629, which would surprisingly allow a foreign entity to once again use the area and develop it into something else. What mostly came into scrutiny was the fact that a Chinese company that goes by the name of China Ocean Shipping Company, or Costco for short, would be given the allowance to convert Sangley Point into an international logistics hub with a modern seaport and airport at the cost of between 3 to 5 billion US dollars. Arguably one of the largest ever infrastructure projects to emerge in the country's history. Costco had the right resources and experience to execute such a project because it was also the second biggest shipping company in terms of carrying capacity in the entire world at that time. As stated, however, it was under the eyes of a Western counterpart. A Chinese entity, a state-owned enterprise as well, was going to access a very massive area in the Philippines. It was even to a point where Executive Order 629 was written that it would allow this Chinese company to do this. Yet, as everybody knows, despite the eyes of the Western agencies or even the eyes of the local people, nothing came out of this event. The billion dollar reconstruction plan had not materialized. Even until this very day, after years of negotiation between other companies that would help and materialize the dream of changing Sangley Point, it has still been postponed. Most people would obviously try to understand what happened. How could arguably one of the largest infrastructure agencies of President Arroyo fail? Well, what would probably surprise most people is the fact that the redevelopment plan was not entirely new. The development plan agenda of President Arroyo, for that matter, started back in 2005 when she had invited the Costco Group President Captain Wee Jafu for a collaboration project. The project was negotiated and was also in the best interest of Costco. What better way is there to invest in the Philippines other than this very port? A port that they need as they are one of the world's largest shipping companies after all. Not only that, the Philippines had been experiencing rapid growth in bilateral trade with China. Such growth therefore is going to be attractive to Chinese investors. In an interview published by Port News with Costco Group President Wee, he also stated that they are looking to invest in terminals, logistics, shipbuilding and repair and maintenance facilities. And a further interview posted by the same media also cited President Wee as being hopeful that the Philippines will become one of the logistics centers of Asia. Their company agenda, in other words, was in line for the Philippines. Hence, upon meeting President Gloria Arroyo in June of 2007, they immediately kicked off redeveloping Sangley Point. The plan was simple. Costco as a company would go on to partner with several local government agencies, one of which was the Philippine Reclamation Agency, in part because they needed to reclaim a massive 4,000 hectares of land. Secondly, the entire facility was expected to have a container port, an airport complex, and an economic processing zone with cyber parks through private sector joint ventures. Under the terms, however, they are not supposed to displace the Philippine Navy, which was also headquartered around Sangley Point. Months would pass after the executive order, and some officials and businessmen from Costco would go on to work, study, and see the viability of this project. Such as a price tag of $5 billion would definitely need time before the actual business would materialize. A speech from a special envoy of trade and investments to China even cited that Costco was stressing the need of removing transportation bottlenecks around Southeast Asia. Things were getting exciting as months went by, but as of May 2008, delays and questions about the completion of the problem would start to emerge. A presidential advisor would go on to appear and state that the facility is still on, but it will take time to complete. This was addressed to the fact that there was an ongoing issue at that time. 
surrounding the national broadband network deal with China's ZTE Group. Therefore, the start of the intense communication with their Chinese counterparts would slowly emerge as a challenge. Nevertheless, the Philippine government would still continue to work with Costco at times. However, the government has cited that miscommunication would come about from the Chinese. Months would pass by again after any news would come out from the official media, and the only source of confirmation that the deal had been cancelled was when it was reported in November 2009 that Costco Group President Wee had finally said that they had given up on their original plan in developing Sangley Point. We told reporters at the sidelines of the 10th World Chinese Entrepreneurship that two years ago Costco was invited by President Arroyo for a collaboration project, but for some reason the project did not materialize. And we had also said that certain areas for port development were given to other developers. Soon after this interview, any source of news about the $5 billion plan had all but disappeared. However, we also stated that in the same interview that they had not given up on finding other opportunities in the Philippines. But anyway, thanks for watching.